Okay. Hi guys. And today I have a new, a different video for y'all. Okay, yeah. So, while I'm doing this little painting, I mean this little picture, we gonna talk and smoke. I didn't lost the scissors. Okay, so I guess before we start, I have to cut this poster and I thought that it would be fun for y'all to see what's going on so today we're going to use yellow for um that honey effect on the, the movie so I'm just gonna cut it so like the background can be this way. Also, um, sorry y'all, trying to make sure everything is together. Um, this is like I guess I'm gonna call it. Realism. I should have got a um, ruler. So while I'm putting this, I guess I'll tell you guys like why that I'm doing this. This is so uneven. Um, when I was younger, my mom bought me like all these movies. They're like Freddy Krueger movies. And ever since horror has been like my favorite genre ever. But recently, like when I've been looking at like my videos and I used to be seeing like these beasts, which are in every single video. Um, it makes me more interested. Also, I've been decoding movies, which kind of gets, like, interesting because you realize there's so much more to something than you perceive. And I don't know. I have a lot of paintings, drawings in my, in my house. So maybe this will add to the energy, I don't know. I feel like it may even make the energy more strong. 
I learned this trick in school, guys. You cut the edges to make it look fancy. So this is what we're working with. This will work like today, girl. Okay, before we do this, I'm gonna roll a blunt. I don't have much left. This is how to roll a blunt. Now, usually, you have more weed than this. I do have more weed. I just don't feel like asking where it's at, so I'm just gonna use one that's in my purse. So, you lick it. Yeah, it's so cool. So you lick it, you take Don't be like me. Oh, I bought this little memo book just like in case. I don't know. Well, glue sticks. If you're a messy person, these are highly recommended. And alcohol. In order for me to tap into demonology or this energy efficiently I have to drink mm. okay so we're gonna use this also I don't promote drinking in the morning <laughs> I also don't promote drugs. So I'm thinking like what I'm gonna do is like, guys, this will be like, um, I don't know if I'm hearing a obituary, but not that. This will kind of be like in my room or in my space, my science lab. It will be just, I guess, different things that inspire me, different spirits. So mind you, so I've noticed you guys in a lot of horror movies they have like some of like the sim they have similar like plots. So yesterday when we were watching Nightmare on Elm Street and you guys know that we always talk about like inception whereas like someone has the ability to tap into your um dream state subconscious um the psychological base which is your dreams okay whether that be sleeping or awake and unconscious all right um you guys know in inception basically they go into their dreams and they kind of like get what they need from them um but in this movie it's very interesting with the freddy krueger movie whereas like we're going all the way back to how he became the legend that he is um it's interesting because when I was trying to like, when I was printing out different like characters and like different scary movies, for some reason, his picture wouldn't print out. And you guys know that a lot of the people that I've highlighted on my channel, whereas they were like legends for like killing people was because they were brutally killed themselves. So it was like more of like a revenge type of thing. Whereas Freddy Krueger, he actually like raped them kids and he was into child pornography and all that shit. So it makes sense to like today when I was like printing out pictures, like his pictures, you just couldn't see them as if like he wasn't a part of this family. But I'm really just thinking like when we talk about like scary movies and horror films, I feel like we're dealing with like different spirits. So I feel like Candyman is like one of those spirits, whereas like it's like one of those revenge spirits. But I also feel like he's like more of like a Bori spirit, voodoo spirit because of Helen and we have honey and whatever. And then I think about like, you know, Freddy Krueger as like a Dejean spirit, a trickster spirit, things of that nature. 
type of energy because it's almost as if like he's been paired with the people who have been done wrong even like him what is it freddie versus jason jason was like drowned to death you guys notice that i feel like maybe that's why i'm so like drawn to like scary movies because i feel like it really resonates with my life of like being like tormented and harassed and bullied for like nothing things that you can't even you know now my favorite character like ever because i'm gonna do like scary characters i think i'm gonna do like marvel characters um at first i was gonna like okay i'm gonna tell y'all the vision so at first what i was gonna do is i was just gonna like at first like i was just gonna print out these pictures and trace them Excuse me, guys. I was gonna print out the pictures and trace them and then like paint them, but then I was like, it looks so cool this way. So I was like, let's just do it this way. And my favorite character, if you know me, is the Joker. Like when I do his, it's gonna be like probably like three whole projects of him within himself. So, okay, so boom, you have the blunt, you pour the weed on the blunt and you break it down so some people break their weed down like before they put it in the blunt so it's like easier and your blunt doesn't dry but like usually i used to do that but now i don't do that anymore because i feel like this way is like better like just breaking it down here Okay. But anyway, so like on Freddy Krueger, I noticed that the reason why he was even able to tap into their subconscious is because like he had been sexually active with all of them. So um, he had that Kundalini base in connection to them. So that's why I always like I'm starting to realize like when you guys like, you know, celibacy is important, not because like duh, you're closing your legs, but because you don't allow trespassers to enter your mind, basically. So this is gonna be a small blunt, don't judge me. I just have to smoke while I do this and this is all I have on my hand. If you guys want a rolling video, hit a bitch up. When you roll like leaves and grams, and I mean not leaves, you're supposed to put like more than like, um, I was told 1.5, you're supposed to put like more than that. But of course, if you're like me, you just do what you want to do because there's no rules in life. So we have our blunt, red tea. And then I have like the picture down here. Let me show you. I have the picture down here to like what I'm gonna look at. And then this is gonna be like my other picture. And then let me show y'all outside. sound play okay so we're gonna let the blunt dry for like a few minutes and then well like a minute because i don't really like it to be that dry and then you want to clean up as you go okay so now we're gonna take another shot I don't know why I'm gonna tell you this. Drink with me and project. No, I'm just kidding. If you guys know me, you guys are gonna get to know me. I can drink like for real. And it doesn't affect me the way that it affects everyone else. Like, I do get drunk. I just don't get like, I can't explain it. Scissors. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and start with the big pit the big pieces. Okay. And for real y'all, like for like tarot readers, if like you guys are watching this, I really recommend like you like guys taking like time out and just like 
I recommend you guys taking time out to like for yourselves. Like just period. And doing something fun. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the big pieces first. I guess I'm gonna start with the ones on the bottom because those are probably like the, the best ones to do. I actually fucked it up because I think this is supposed to be in the middle. These are at the bottom, babes. Okay. Like, I feel like this is so fucking legendary because we have Helen in the casket. We also have her with the bees and shit around her and stuff. So, this is pretty legendary here. I feel like in order for this picture to be the way they were supposed to be, I feel like Helen had to literally be like the, the epicenter of this project. Because he's like fucking in love with her. Like, he's so in love with her. So, she is... Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So, I'm gonna start at the bottom of the picture so we're gonna start with this picture and I'm gonna show you guys this picture is like basically like his art and the reason why I picked this pic the reason why I picked this picture in particular is because it shows like that artist side of him that like a lot of people like tend to forget almost and then in the middle is basically him kidnapping her okay she doesn't realize how special she is I guess and then of course we have the monumental bee here we have the Candyman sign that will go at the top. Um, then we have so sorry guys, this is like the, the center of the picture because it's almost as if like he's kidnapping her, but at the same time he's doing it so that he can protect her. Okay. And then we have the eye that is like so significant to the whole thing because it's like he's seen her in his visions and the baby as well okay um so there's that we have the, this picture of her with the bees on it i learned how to do this in school because we always had like projects to do and that's where I learned this at. A lot of y'all asked me like, oh, do you, what type of training do you have? I have a lot of like training, whereas like as far as like the media goes, like all my life I've been in media. When I was, um, I think like when I was like 11 or 12, I did this commercial for um, my school and it was a jaywalking commercial and they sent it to like the whole I I S I A I S D, which is my school district. Okay, we're gonna get into it because I've like pretty much placed everything where I feel like it should go in like a monumental way here. Um, so there's that. I may have to add more here. 
Um, but right now, I think this is pretty good for what I'm trying to go for. So we're gonna get the gluing. We're gonna spark the block. Right now I'm just kind of like looking at like how I want, how I'm like envisioning everything of that nature. My goal was to make it as if this is pretty perfect. I don't know what type of weed this is. I don't like at all but let's get into it let me make sure it's recording okay so i'm gonna show y'all how it looks this is how it pretty much looks right now okay i'm probably gonna add more pictures to pretty much fill in the blanks but it's like I, I i really like it actually i was thinking about adding like candy but we'll see about that i'm gonna put this out so that i can glue this Okay, so we're gonna start with this artist picture. Put the glue. You guys know, this is like kindergarten shit. Glue it up, glue, glue, glue. When I was in school, they taught me um, dot, 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 not a lot. And Lord knows, three dots of glue ain't shit. So the key to mastering collage art is to line it up perpendicular to the lines of the paper. So that's really the thing. So I'm just gluing it down. Now, this is gonna go on my wall. Okay. Now we're gluing down these Helens. So this is really easy. That's why I just like really wanted to come and just do this with y'all. Have a little fun content. First Helen, down. I don't know if y'all seen this picture. It's like he has like this hook. Second one. And y'all, I just really like looking at art. Like, literally, that's it. And I feel like it draws in more energy. Like, I'm not trying to draw in more energy, but I just feel like called to do this. And Helen is so pretty, y'all. Like, the woman who played her is so pretty. It makes it, like, better to look at, I guess. But anyways, um, this week I have like a lot of videos on like parallel universes and dimension jumping, things of that nature. This picture is really important too. So this should all be fun. I'm just like, like tarot, I like tarot, of course, it's my passion. I just have to take a break sometimes because the energies are like so much, especially like if you're doing that shit, like, and that's all you're doing. Like, no. 
And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and do the centerpiece. And y'all, I'm really quick, like, like my mind moves really fast. Now, the, like, the hardest part for me was, like, I had to, like, pretty much get the vision down of, like, what I was going to do. I felt, like, called. I keep saying that. I felt called to do this. Okay. The centerpiece is most important. Remember, when you're doing collage art, you want to make sure things line up perpendicular to um, what's going on. Nothing can be perfect, guys. Remember that. Also, if you're like one a person like me, where it's like I have a lot of emotions, and they flip, they switch, like a fucking switch, a light switch, then this is therapeutic. Especially when you're dealing with other people with a lot of emotions as well. It definitely helps. But on my platform, my goal is to be as transparent with you guys as possible. Like, say for instance, I was a drug addict. I would definitely tell you guys that shit. I'm not, but I'm just saying, you know? I'm gonna smoke. I know y'all probably like, damn girl, what time is it? And I don't want this video to be long because I actually want you guys to watch it. So, there's that. Right now, I'm trying to glue just all like the um, monumental pieces. I don't know why I've been like really just called at artistry, writing, things of that nature. I feel so like at peace, you know? What do you guys think about like jobs, nine to fives? Of course, we got we all know that we all have spiritual gifts and things of that nature. But I just be thinking like, you'll realize how unhappy you are doing something when you find something that you truly like to do. Her head is huge on this picture. Like, y'all, sometimes when I be, like, you guys know, like, on my Instagram, no, Instagram, on my YouTube, on when we, like, when I post, like, those stories, it's because, like, I be, um, psycho psychotic, and I'm going through psychosis, but sometimes I don't like to do it anymore. Well, it's not that I'm even trying, I just feel like this is, like... I should put, I don't know why I just be feeling like that's where it should go on there. Like, with you guys. But I'm trying to work on like my um, impulse control. So I'm just gonna do this instead. Because sometimes most times <laughs> I get extremely emotional like whether that be of good emotions or bad I've never been the type of person to really care about judgment. So I really don't be minding of the opinions of people. Because I know I'm not doing anything like wrong. Or I'm not trying to anyways. So y'all, we're pretty much almost done. Um, I'm out of smoke some of this blunt. This is pretty much to like kind of get y'all on the vibe of what we're about to do for this week. But 
Let me roll your blunts. I think what's so crazy about this like project is the eyes. The eyes are the windows to a person's soul. Like all you can like really see like is what's heavily highlighting is their eyes. In the newer version, you notice that the eyes aren't there, whereas like it's almost as if like he sold his soul on some shit. One, two, three, four, five pictures left to like glue on, and that's pretty much it. So, next, we're gonna do Helen. Don't you guys think she's so pretty? I've never been like I grew up with white people. I just like, I like people, but people make me not like people because I'm like a really genuine person, but people choose to be like untrustworthy or ungenuine towards me. So within that, I switch my perceptions and then I switch my agendas. And when I switch my agendas, I switch the way that I move, react and things of that nature because that's what life is about like you can't sit and be sad all day about something that someone else feels if that's the case you might as well be that person like if I sat here <clears throat> if we all sat here like wondering and wishing and waiting like anytime that I think about like the whole wondering wishing waiting thing always think about the twin flame dynamic is like horrible and I feel like it's not even supposed to be that way but I feel like it is because yeah like you should never be longing wishing waiting on a person that means that person is damn sure not for you and if they are for you then either you'll know I like this project and I'm gonna keep saying a project because to me it is because it has like a lot of little details in it kind of like movies do so I think that's kind of cool I'm done. 